Okay, so I'm making the... I, I usually don't do math videos or, like, uh, school videos, but I'm making this video because people have gotten stuck on 2K Pi and K Pi. What the heck does that mean? And, you know, you're thinking of the, the compression and stretch of a wave and all that. And the reason why I'm making this is you can see my handwriting right here and how it's so much different from some other people's handwriting. And there was people who couldn't figure this out um, and these are tutors who couldn't figure out how to how to help with homework. Um, so basically, k in this case could be two pi k can be um, you have an angle which can be equal to uh, pi over two, and then you add two pi, and then you multiply that by k, which could be you know any integer or, or a given number, um, and then you have your your period, obviously which is this. And then what we're trying to actually solve for is these points where they repeat. So every time you add 2k pi times whatever, so it could be 0, 1, whatever, you end at this point of whatever, a sine wave, because I guess this is a sine wave. And then, you know, you get the next point, which is like the exact same on the graph. And then that just repeats. So if you're looking for between 0 and 2 pi, you'd only have one point, but then if you have to go up to, say, 6 pi or 4 pi or whatever, you have this point, and you have next point, and next point. So that's what the k represents. So if we put that into perspective, I'll just go over uh, my sheet here. We have uh, cosine of theta is negative 1 half. The cycle here that we're going to look at, and you remember the cycle is you know, you can have the, the wave or you can look at a cycle as how many times around the unit circle. So if we're going to look at a unit circle and we have, uh, what, what was it, cosine of negative one half. So where is cosine negative one half? Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Cosine, which is x, because you have x and y value for a point. So cosine being x is a negative one half at four pi over three. Well, it's also negative one half somewhere else. Oh, here it is, two pi over three. So now we have two points, which is why we put down these, I put a comma in between them, so cosine of negative one half. So what you gotta do when you're starting this problem is get rid of the cosine first so you can get the theta by itself, or the angle, whatever, by itself and now you have inverse cosine. Multiply both sides by inverse cosine. Now you solve for this and it'll give you wherever it lands on the unit circle. And then your period or your cycle is the distance around. So you have, let's say, you know, two pi over three. And then you have to add another whatever, two pi, or you have to add another pi. So you'd end up down here. Two pi would be a full circle and then if you multiply that by k, so it would be like 1, you just have one full rotation, or it would be, you multiply that by 4, and then, you know, you get whatever your answer is. Um, so, you have to, or what the, uh, the person that I was helping had to do is write the general formula, even though I was helping more than one person, but the person I actually needed help on this is what I meant, is uh, all solutions for a larger angle. So it would be 4 pi would be the larger angle, and then 4 pi plus 2k pi would be the repetitions of 2k pi um, at this larger angle. Okay, so for the smaller angle, we have, uh, this is obviously, you could just look at it and say, you know, 2 pi over 3 is less than 4 pi over 3. So then you have uh, the lesser angle plus 2k pi. Boom, there you go. Now you have what 2k pi is. I don't know why everybody was struggling with that so much. I think it's because it's a k that they're like, what's k? Anyways. <clears throat> and a lot of people who have moved up to, and this is for the tutors, have moved up to uh, higher math and to calculus and, um, you know, higher level algebra and stuff like that, or calc 3 as some people call it, um, 
you know, you forget a lot of this stuff, uh, and you have to go back and say, you know, what is all this variation, because that's the whole point of uh, <clears throat> algebraic geometry, or trigonometry, as some people call it. So, then you have uh, k, so what you want to do is you want to have k set to this. The reason why is they want the first six solutions. So, we're going to go with k is uh, 0, 1, and 2, and the reason why is because we already have two angles from just having cosine of negative 1 half. We have these two uh, radians, and so now all we have to do is, if it's at 0, if we're going to add 0 pi, then we're going to have these two solutions. If we're going to add 1 pi, we're going to get another two solutions, and we add 2 pi, we're going to get another two solutions, which makes 6 altogether. So now we have this. When k, when you're adding 2k pi, when k is uh, 0, then obviously when you multiply all this together, it's 0, and then you just get the answer for both. Then there's your two answers, the original answers right there. Then you get this. <clears throat> for k uh, when you set it to 1. So k of 1, so now you just have regular pi times 2. And what is pi uh, times, or what is 2 pi? Well, that's if 1 is equal to 3 over 3, then pi is equal to 3 over 3, 3 pi over 3. Okay? So <clears throat> then you can calculate that out. You get 8 pi over 3, 10 pi over 3 for this one. Then you're another two answers. So now you're at four answers. You get k equals to 2. And obviously you multiply those out. And then you get your answer. And then you get your other answer. If you want to look at what I'm doing on this, uh, just pause the video and, and look at how I did these. <clears throat> That's why I've written them out all the way, is just so you can pause the video. Um, so now k pi. This comes into play instead of 2k pi when you have twice, of, or yeah, twice theta or a double angle, as it's actually called. <clears throat> so cosine of a double angle is negative one half. Use arc cosine or inverse cosine to multiply both sides out, and then you get this. Uh, what you want to do is you want to switch the cosine to the other side because you're trying to get theta by itself, or you can even say cosine twice x. So you're trying to get this angle by itself on one side, so you switch the cosine first, that's the key, you don't do the inner part right, and then next thing you do is you solve for cosine. A lot of people will uh, divide to try to keep getting this theta by itself, they'll divide by two, no don't do that, you want to solve for cosine first, then you get these two answers, you get these two angles of what cosine is at negative one half, right? We're doing the same problem over here, but we're doing twice the double angle right here, we're doing a twice theta, and then after you get that, then you divide by 2. Now, if you remember what happens if you have a fraction divided by a number, then it's just, you know, copy dot, dot flip, right? So uh, that would be over, over 2, a fraction over 2 would be the same thing as a whole number over 1. So this divided by this, copy dot flip, turns into that, and then you just multiply straight across, and you get that. So now you have 2 pi over 6, right, because 3 times 2, and then if you reduce that, you divide 6 by 2, then you get 1 pi over 3. And same thing here, 4 pi over 6, now you get 2 pi over 3 reduced, there's your two answers. Obviously, you can see that's a smaller angle, and this is a larger angle. Uh, and then you have your general formula. Here's the catchy part of the difference between, the major difference between these two, uh, which would be um, 2k pi, and why you have k pi instead of 2k pi, is because you have a double angle here, now you're just going to use regular k pi. So you're going to add k pi instead of 2k pi. Okay? So... It, that's a zero, I just realized. So, there you go. Now you have the theta. Um, so now you get these two answers, and if you're looking for the six answers, the first six answers, because you got to remember, it continues on and on, or if you're doing the unit circle, it continues on and on and on, going around. 
uh, and if you want to get negative answers, obviously you go the opposite way of the unit circle, or you go the opposite way of the wave, going in the negative direction. Um, but the first six answers would be k at three different uh, values. So here's all your six answers. Obviously, if you want that, you just do the same thing as over here to multiply those out. And so that is the thing that nobody can figure out, and for some reason, nobody could find on YouTube, nobody could find uh, online. And so I was like, okay, this is, this is something that's needed to be shown to other people. So that's the only reason why I'm doing this video. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. Uh, and yeah. You know, have fun solving your puzzles in math and and uh, happy, happy uh, trig solving. I don't know. <laughs>